Hey guys, so this is going to be a track by track review of Little Mix's new album Salute, which is finally being released today, February 4th, in the US. So in comparison to DNA, which was their first album, it it keeps the pop notes to it, but it throws in a little bit of R&B into it uh, along the lines of Destiny's Child and Vogue, TLC, and I really like it. I mean, I love DNA, but I really, really love Salute. So let's start. First track is the album namesake, Salute. It has a great girl power anthem to it. It sounds a lot like uh, Who Run the World by Beyonce, and which also goes with what I mentioned with having a, the al entire album having a Destiny's Child feel to it. There's a great line at the end where it goes, men are greater fighters, but women fight greater. I believe and it's just like the uh, really great empowering and that's what I love about Little Mix also all their songs are so empowering like it's awesome and I'll probably get to more of that later but like it just has a great empowering feeling for women the next track is also the first single off the album move move is like probably one of my favorite songs I actually didn't like this song at first but as as, it, as like the entire album grew on me, I started to fall in love with Moo, and it's great. It's like, it's probably the best dance song off, which I think it was a great choice to be the first single. The next track is Little Me, which is the second single off the album, which I think was great in contrast to Move, as Move was a very upbeat and dancey song, while Little Me is a bit more like, it has a backstory to it, and it's more... Like, again, empowering, like, there, Little Me is probably the most empowering, empowering song on it, and in the way that it's pretty much just saying, like, yeah, or it's, it's kind of like an open letter to your former self, like, going back, as the song even says, going back to tell yourself that you're beautiful and you're worth it, you, and who cares what they think, as long as you, as long as you can see that you're not what they think. And I'm probably totally wording this wrong. Go back to my other video. I did a video when the, the uh, music video came out and I'll link that below. And I, I went in more into detail about Little Me and I think I described it better. The next song is Nothing Feels Like You. It's another upbeat song and it's it's really great. I like the uh, the first part which I think it was done by Jesse. I wanna say. But it goes, um, 25 acres just to hold my diamonds and my pearls and I don't know why but I think that's like one of my favorite lines out of like the album like I don't know why but like that's just probably one of my favorite as I said one of my favorite lines off the entire album but I love it because it's just like it actually and it, it explains later on that it's like we don't need the fancy things all we need is you no matter how far away you are or what like we are here for you not what you can give to us Next is Towers. I I love Towers. This was another one I didn't really like at first until I started listening to the album kind of uh, over again. Maybe because I literally listened to this album so many times. But I didn't like it at first and now I, I really do. Uh, it's about uh, love gone bad but like she still sees him and when she sees him there's still love in his face but she knows that it will never happen because it, the love went bad. Next is another favorite of mine. I love, love, love this one. It's competition. And this one's mostly about uh, loving a man with ambition, but if it turns to competition, you know I am going to upstage you every time. Because, again, these, like, are so empowering. It's like, girls can just, girls are just as good as guys, and maybe even better, if you want to believe it. And I just... Literally, this whole album is just like an empowering, empowering album. The next song is my personal favorite, and actually maybe my favorite song off the album. It's These Four Walls, and I, again, I, I feel the song on a personal level. This song is very, very full of emotion, and it's about losing someone, whether it's a death of a loved one or losing your boyfriend or girlfriend. It's just about a loss of someone and I have obviously experienced loss and this one just is it hit it hit home really really good like the probably the first four to six times I heard the song I was crying every single time 
which I think is a good thing for a song. Like, if you can make me cry just from a song, like, not even a video, that says something, you know? And I just, I love, love, love this song, and it most likely is my favorite song off this album. The next song is about the boy. And I think, obviously, everyone who has heard this song is probably going to be like, Perry Solo, come on. And yeah, it's good, you know, but the entire song's good. And obviously, Perry Solo is just amazing. Like, her high note, or not even her solo, but her high note, just that high note was just nice. The next song is Boy. And it is just a great, great song because you know you've had a friend who has been with just this horrible guy who was just shit to her and just she just stays with him and you're just like get the fuck away from him like he do you can you not see and there's actually a point where they say uh when are you gonna wake up and it's literally perfection like when are you gonna wake up and realize that he is an asshole first off like Seriously, and I just, I, I love this little, like, this is the song that you need to play for all the friends who are dating an asshole and you know they can do way better. This is that song. Next is Good Enough, another awesome ballad, right up there with these four walls. I love it because it's literally, just the title says it all, Good Enough, and it's literally just saying, am I good enough yet for you, but I'm using how much you're putting me down to rise above and actually be good enough for everybody else and seriously empowerment again just this entire album is just it should literally just be titled empowerment next song is mr lover boy and i personally it's not my favorite it's probably my least favorite song off the album it it kind of sounds like it's about love at first sight so I think we all can relate to this. The next track is A Different Beat, which is a great song because it's pretty much just saying how you don't have to follow everyone else and just do your own thing and be you. Uh, now the next four are bonus tracks. The first bonus track is See Me Now, which is a great song. It's pretty much just telling everyone who said you couldn't do it that you can and you did and look where I am now. The second bonus track is They Just Don't Know You, which again, I really think this should have been on the main album because I love this song. It's just great because you've, you've been there because your family doesn't like your boyfriend, no one does, and you know, they're making you question whether or not you think this guy's good enough for you and you see him this way and they, they just don't, but you still love him and I, I love this song. Third bonus track is Stand Down, which is just about like not letting their negative get to you and doing stuff for yourself and just empowerment. And the fourth bonus track is just Little Me Unplugged, so it's just an acoustic or piano acoustic version of Little Me. So that's the entire album and I freaking love it. It's so, so good. Their songs are so relatable and I just, I love Little Mix and this, this album did not disappoint at all like literally if you have not gotten it you should it is amazing everything is just on point and i just i just love this album but yeah if you've heard it or if you're gonna go get it because it's out today february 4th uh you should by the way um yeah tell me what you guys think of the album what's your favorite song what's your least favorite song uh but yeah tell me what you guys thought of the album and thanks for watching